So this video is designed to help you with the data analysis in the Excel spreadsheet um, for the Experiment 8 Freezing Point Depression Lab. So what you should be able to see on my screen is the spreadsheet, the Freezing Point Depression template. Uh, what I have done so far is I've pasted in the data. And so you can see I have uh, my time and then the steric acid freezing point temperature data and the solution freezing point temperature data as well. Um, so if we follow the steps on the Google Doc for our data analysis, the first thing you should do is save and rename this file. Um, then we're going to enter the data as we have. Now what we're going to do next is we're going to just check, I'm going to scroll down to the data just to show you, um, when we scroll down, again, we see our time and then our temperature data. And then notice that my time data actually stops um, because the time data was pasted in with the steric acid. So it stops before the solution data. So we need this to continue to the end of the solution data. So the way we can do that really quickly with Excel is if, because this each cell is just the addition of one second, I'm going to highlight a bunch of cells here. It doesn't matter how many, but you need a few. And then I'm just going to come down to this box with the down here to the little green box and watch my cursor change. And just like filling a formula, I'm going to fill this down. And Excel is smart enough to know it's just going to keep adding plus one to all those values so we can get our time points all the way down. And you can see this data went much further. And so we can see it's all the way to 500 seconds. And now I have my time data filled all the way. Next, what we need to do is make our plot. So to make our plot, I'm going to highlight the cells we want. And I'm going to start highlighting with our column headings. So time, steric acid, and solution. And I'm going to continue to hold. And I'm going to drag all the way down to the end of the data. And we'll get to the very end. There we go. And once that's all selected, I'm then going to, with it selected, I'm going to come up to Insert. Your version of Excel might have Insert in a slightly different place. So just watch out for that. Insert. And what we want is the XY scatter. So again, sometimes you have to find where that is. Here's XY scatter. We want the ones where things are not connected. So I'm going to click on that button. And that should insert our plot. Now it's putting our plot over here. So I'm going to first just drag our plot right below these yellow highlighted cells. I'm going to then increase the size of the plot to make it a little easier to read. All right, so here's our plot. Um, what we can then do is quickly, so while you're selected on the plot, come to chart quick layout. And I'm going to choose this first one, which will give us a title, axes, labels, and a legend. And because we have previously highlighted our data, our column headings, that should be filled in for us. So now you can go ahead and give yourselves axes titles by double clicking into each of these boxes. And so on this one, we have temperature. And on the x axis, we can go ahead. I'm going to change that to time in seconds. All right. The next thing I'm going to do is we can see there's a lot of empty space in our plot. So we can make this look a little bit better. If you double click on your Y axis, you should get a um, format axis label dialog box pop up. You can also right click on the axis to get there. And I'm going to change the minimum because we don't need it to go all the way to zero degrees Celsius. I'm going to change this to something like 61. This might depend on what your data is. Hit return. And that might have been a little too high, so maybe I'll go to 60. Oop, I'm still too high. Let's go back to 59. There we go. And on the x-axis, I'm going to do the same thing. And we don't need to go to 600 seconds since our data stops at 500. I'll change the maximum to 500 seconds there. So here's our data and our plot. You should give yourself a descriptive title. I'll leave that to you. Um, 
what we now want to do is use the plot to find our freezing point. So we want the sort of average temperature of our plateaus. Um, and we're going to do that in this green box here. And so the way we're going to do that is first come up to your plot and say, all right, we can start to see where these temperature plateaus are. So for the steric acid, I might think, okay, that plateau, you know, where is that plateau? And sometimes it's a little tricky of where's the plateau versus where does it continue down? Um, so we might say, maybe we say the plateau starts about here. And you notice when I put my cursor on the series, we can see the XY value. So that's about 200 seconds. Um, and maybe that goes to maybe 244 before it starts to drop off a little steeper and cool. So 200 to 244 seconds, roughly. I'm going to come down here to the steric acid box. Click on this. I'm going to hit the equals key to start a formula. Come up here, click our little FX insert function. That should bring up my function box. And double click on average. And now we just want to highlight the cells we want. So what we can do is I'm going to scroll down. Remember, we wanted 200 seconds to 244. So I'm going to come down to where it says 200 seconds, click and hold, and go down. Oops, too much. Let's try that again. So if you make a mistake, you can come back to your function builder, highlight it, delete, and then try again. My computer was lagging a little. So 244. come up to 200 to 244 about. Go ahead and hit return. And so you can see this calculated an average of those values. For our solution, we're going to do the same thing. But what we have to do now is find where is that plateau. And again, the tricky thing is what we see in these curves is there's a plateau. But if you collect data past the plateau, your solution will start to f cool down more as the solid starts to freeze. So you can think about where is the plateau in this. And I might say the flattest part is actually here. And then it starts to cool again. That's probably the solid cooling. So you have to examine your data. So I'm going to again go from about maybe 198 seconds. And I'm going to only go to a pretty similar, maybe 231. So 198 to 231. So hit equals, and then we need a function. Double click average. Now we want to make sure we're taking our column D. And again, we want it to scroll down until we had the data for 198. And we want to go to about 231 or thereabouts. Hit equals, and here's our freezing point. We can now make a quick solution to find the delta t. And so we're going to hit equals. And we want to take the steric acid. And we want to, oh, did that backwards. Sorry, we want to take the solution. And we want to subtract the solvent. And we get negative 4.12 degrees. Celsius. All right, we're always doing the solution minus the solvent because it's final minus initial. And here's your delta T. Thank you.